In this tutorial, I will show you how to use full page plugin in your website. It's really awesome and popular library. As you can see, it has more than 34,000 stars on the GitHub and it looks really awesome, has a great behavior and has a lot of samples. How can you use it? So we will try to implement something similar on the empty project. So let's start. First of all, what you need to know about this library that it's not free, but for the e-commerce or commercial sites. But if you want to create something open source, it's free. So if your project is under this license, you can use it. Okay, now let's try to create some application. We have empty project. Now we will create index HTML. Then we need script JS where we will put some configuration and uh, let's add uh, style CSS with some basic CSS in case we will need. We will add some HTML, HTML boilerplate and uh, now let's check docs how can we use it. What's important we do not need any jQuery. Then we will use version 4017 just in case you need and you always can find some demo on the code pen. So we will start with the next usage. We can use Bover NPM or we can use CDN. Let's go to CDN. I will use this approach but you can download and put everything what you need to your local project. Now we have the next, we have full page min jazz. Let's copy this script and we will add this script here. The next we need full page CSS min minimized. Let's add it to the head. And basically that's it. We don't need extensions or map files. Okay, the next. What do we need? We need to create a full page structure. It's pretty easy. We just need to add the ID full page and uh, all the sections inside will have a section class name. Let's copy and uh, put it into the body. Okay, this is done. The next we need, uh, let's start this project. I will run it locally from the my IDE. You can use any server or approach you would prefer. Right now, as you see, nothing happened. And it's because of we didn't complete the most important part is initialization. So we need we can use uh, uh, tag in the body or we will use in our case, let's copy it. We will use the separate file script JS. Let's put it here. So we will create new full page for this ID. We have it and uh, that's it. Now let's add the script uh, we have it script JS. Now we will refresh the page, and as you see, we already have some behavior. Now we need to add some customization and CSS. Okay, from the example, we can clarify styles of the sections. As you see, we have a lot of um, uh, options you can put.
and we need to find the section color. Let's copy this property and put it to the script. So right now we will have two properties. So what do we need? What colors do we need? Let's copy these colors and um, reuse them. So we will use simple This will be the first one, then the next one, and we need for all the slides we have sections. We have four sections, and it means we need copy and paste four different colors, each color for each section. It's just array, pretty simple and clear. And the last one, okay, we have four colors, let's refresh the page, and as you see, we have the same approach. Okay, now we need to fix the content behavior, let's do the next for each section. We have styles, let's section, we will set the text um, align center and we will increase font size 3M. EM. Now we forgot to import styles, let's link rel style sheet and the uh, graph will be style CSS. Now we have it and now we can customize. So as you see we have this behavior. Pretty simple and works really awesome. Important part that in the end we have this. Let's inspect. We have small watermark it's not a problem let's put styles display none and now refresh the page go to the bottom and as you see we have no watermark okay the next what we want to implement for example full backgrounds. How can we do it? Pretty easy. We need uh, put background to the section we want. For example, we have this section 3. Let's add some ID because of for each section we need separate image. Section 3. Then ID section 4 copy style and um, for all sections we want let's keep it now section 3 we will use the ground image URL and let's put some image. We can check image as you see we have the ground image. Let's copy URL and for the section 4 we will add This one looks great. The same for the section, as you see, we have background image. Copy. Put it here. 
Okay, the next what we need for all sections, we want background position center center background repeat none and uh, background uh, size cover now what do we have first section second third we have image and for the last one we don't have because of section four section four image and image so as you see works awesome the so next let's add some configuration what we need in the script we will add a few more properties we need for example i want to add um, navigation let's put navigation true then we will refresh the page and as you see we have these dots on the right side the next let's add some sub steps how we can do it to implement some sub steps let's go to the index html and inside the section we need to create a few other div with class name it called slide slide one slide three and slide two now refresh the page and as you see we have slides with everything what we added keyboard works as well and for the slide let's add the navigation as well so it's pretty easy add by slide navigation property let's go to the script slide navigation true as well now as you see we have this navigation works as we expect so next we can add the navigation by anchors we need to add anchors for all the slides we have for example first page second page third page and the final page for example now let's refresh and as you see we have this hash navigation for all the slides we have and now when you refresh the page refresh the page you are automatically on this slide as i mentioned before we just need to clarify or clarify all the steps we want the so next what we can do we can add navigation tool tips what is it first second refresh the page and now when you hover on the navigation you see that we have tool tip So works really awesome and almost without customization. We just need to put a few lines of the co of code and it works as we expected. So all the examples you can find on the official site under the examples section. We put uh, full backgrounds already. You can use any other customization you need what's important how to implement these examples let's go to documentation and on the github page we have examples folder and here as you see you can see a lot of different examples for example drop effect it's redirect to separate page
in this case you need to add some extension but basically basically all these extensions not free you need to pay for them but if you don't want to use extension you can find the, any other example without prices price you need to pay its extensions So as you see, you have a lot of examples and the mostly all of them you can find on the GitHub with the sample. So I hope this video was useful for, useful for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment. All the source code will be available on the GitHub, link will be in the description to this video. In case you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you for watching.